Previously on Survivor, Tremern felt he was clearly on the out, but others were looking to make a move. While Carl wanted to take a shot at JJ, he couldn't get his allies on the same page, while Erica was looking to take out Carl. After Carl and John worked together to take home the double immunity, the target had to move. Carl was still unable to get the numbers to vote for JJ, but Erica was able to move the target to Dan. Tremern was still unsure, and after telling his fellow campers about his second idol, he played that idol for himself, negating only one vote as six votes came Dan's way. Seven campers remain, who will be voted out tonight. scheming going on, but for the most part it felt like we were just hanging out as people, which we really haven't done since maybe the first night. There was definitely still some strategy talk. Um, I think there were moments where we kind of forgot we were playing the game for a second and then, you know, you kind of look around you're like, I, I still have to beat all these people tomorrow, so I guess it wasn't much of a break. I saw Carl and John talking, so I was like, well, I was talking to Sam and I was like, Carl and John aren't talking shop for sure, and then Louisa. Carl was like whispering to Louisa too, so I was like just talking to Sam being like, you see them doing that, right? And she's like, yeah, so we're on the same page. We know what's going on over there. It was good to get a little bit of that normalcy back, but then this morning, crack at dawn, wake up, and we're back to it. Didn't think I was gonna get it here. Kinda thought I would bail out at some point. At this point, might as well just see where it goes. Keep going until I can. See where I get. Day three's exhausting. <laughs> It doesn't feel like three days, it feels like weeks. It feels good. Um, we all worked really hard to be here. Um, basically where I'm at right now, I'm paranoid. Waking up this morning, final day, you don't want to be the one that <laughs> like stayed with the tribe members and did the whole thing for three days, but then you're the first one out in the morning. Let's go, let's go! I did not think I was gonna make it this far, so that was awesome. Um, but obviously like it's tense because now we're getting into like the real game. I saw the ball for the first night and now I'm getting used to being out here. The past three days we're just in the game mentally, you know, we're ready to go for day three. I feel like it's the best the first night. Oh. It's only even worse. Day two was a little rough for me. Definitely had some ups and downs. Did a lot more downs than day one. So now I'm still kind of in a precipitous situation here. I want Carl out so badly. He's like, he hasn't done anything good for me. He actively lies to me every time I talk to him. Pretty disappointed with Trey, to be honest. I feel like with the last two votes, I've delivered on what I said, and I've kept him in the game. Didn't have to play either of his idols, and I had the votes set up so that he would have stayed. Hello, everybody! Whoa! Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I have some tree mail. Let's read this bad boy. Good morning, campers. We are at the start of the final day here at Camp Royson. Woo! You have survived our food, you have survived our games, and you have survived each other so far. For your next immunity challenge, we are rewinding the clocks and seeing what you have learned on your journey so far. Get ready and meet at the green truck. And it's a little like clock with a right, arrow all around it. Okie dokie. Yeah. Nope. Oh, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, shit. 
Yes. Okay. Good morning, Merge Tribe. Started day three. By the end of today, one of you will be crowned sole survivor. Challenge. You'll be repeating some of the big best parts of previous challenges and getting a preview of something to come. So we'll start off with the seven of you <clears throat> racing to the ball, untying the ball. First five to untie the ball and move on to the next round. The next round is the five of you are going to be trying to throw the ball into the bucket. First three to get it into the bucket, move on to the next round. The next round is the three of you race and flipping the little logs that you flipped before. The first two to get there and flip it, move on to the next, last round. Final round, vertical ball maze, one ball. First one to get it to the top wins the movie. I'll re-explain everything yeah. you do it. So. Survivor's ready. First five to untie the ball and bring it to the mat, move on to the next round. Bring the ball, bring the ball. Lisa moving on. Mern moving on. John and Sam are out. First three to get their ball in a bucket, move on. All right, the driver's ready. Go. First two to flip all their tiles and get to the end and move on. Survivor's ready, go. Tight race, tight race. Ah! Ow. Good. JJ, Erica, moving on. Erica, this is a fresh challenge for you. JJ, you have some experience. Yep. Let's see if it pays off. Survivor's ready, go. Just like that. Yeah! Nice job. Nice job. That was awesome. Congratulations, JJ. You have a one in 
I that though I really thought I when I was like doing a like looking at it, I was like I, the one I know I can do is the vlog flipping one. The flipping one. <laughs> right, right. If I told myself that I'd be in this position a few days ago, I would have said pinch me. But um, right now it looks like I am the deciding vote between two factions. Um, and they're just the OG tribes. On one side, Carl, John, Lisa, and then on the other side, with Trey, Erica, and Sam. Does Carl make sense? Yep. What are your thoughts? Carl does make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I don't see shit. Oh, God. I'm shitting myself. Do I know? Oh, I'm wearing this. Yes. I think Carl and John are now. I think that might be an equally strong alliance to JJ, almost equally. I think I'm their strongest ally. Fuck the secret advantage. They both uh, wagered a decent amount of money. I wagered a decent amount of money and didn't get it, so they must have wagered a decent amount of money. The only thing that I think is interrupting the plan is that there's this secret advantage that he almost certainly has, him or John anyway. The one thing that your name keeps popping up with is the secret auction item thing. Yeah, I didn't ever. People either think it is you or Carl, it yeah. sounds like, on the other side. They're like, one of them has to happen. Are they going to use it? Are they going to blow up? Have yeah. you heard anything from him? No. I think that Coach has it. Coach has Maybe John. They, they both, both. Yeah. They, they both most were likely like, to put a lot of money into Exactly. I had a conversation with John and Carl last night mm -hmm. where they told me that they both were like, oh, I didn't, I didn't win the... Like the the secret thing, I think one of them did because they both were like, "How much did you bet? How much did you bet?" And they were both like, "A lot." JJ, Tremaine, Sam, and I, I think, are aligned at least as far as I can see. So um, we're gonna go for Coach Carl. So I do want to just give you a warning. Yeah. Their scheming. Yeah. No. Is Jake coming to me and saying, "JJ, we're doing four. You know, it's gonna be a four-three split." Your vote, meaning me voting with the three of them, Carl. Yeah. So you can see your name pop up. JJ came to me and said that Erica, Sam, and Trey are trying to flip it onto me. You know, I don't know if JJ came and told me that because he doesn't want me to play an idol, or if because he's actually on my side and loyal to the the OG Kohas. Oh, okay. Excellent. I mean, on the surface, pretty convincing that in each trail, but yeah. I mean, this is a game. This is a game. I don't really fucking know. I'm pretty sure he's with us on this. Carl keeps trying to tell me that he's that I'm okay with him. I feel like the last two votes I've, I've proven like I'm not trying to vote you out. Both the votes, if you didn't play your eyes, would have been safe. He's lied to me about many, many things. It feels like you could use me. 100%. I feel like I want to that's be. That's why I'm using. put it. That's, that's why the last two yeah, votes. No, I because I know yeah. that I know that I need you, and I wanted to work with you. So it'd have to be one of the girls. It'd be. I mean, Sam. Okay. Which, that's who's tied us with. JJ. Yeah. Then he doesn't even like have the uh, the like come up and to tell his cronies that he's tell well, what lies he's telling me. And so then I talk to like John and talk to Louisa, and I'm like, so you good with the plan? that Carl came up with, and they're like, what fucking plan are you talking about? What's your, what are you thinking? I don't know what my MO is. I'm fucking like, oh, this plan, I didn't think I'd make it this far. What's your MO? Louisa is like, so outrageous. She answers every question with a question, you know what I mean? Which is like, you can get away with that for like 12 hours, but eventually it's like, I've been sleeping next to you. I know you haven't said like a sentence that's a statement to me in 12 hours. Like constantly confused for where you fall in. <laughs> what have you heard? I'm all nervy for this one. Carl is doing what he does best and blowing a big gust of smoke at my butt. <laughs> uh, it's funny because he doesn't even like tell his cronies what he's doing first. So I talk to his cronies and I'm like, 
Um, what are you saying? Because fucking Louisa, like, she thinks she's so good at this game. She can't even, like, think of one other plan to lie to me with. She's just, just like, oh, Tremere, you know what? I haven't been playing Survivor. Okay, no, nope, don't be like, worried, don't be worried, don't be worried. Yeah. Or don't, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> you don't seem too freaked out. I am not freaked out. <laughs> I vote Outray. I stick with my original alliance from day one. I, I get rid of a big competitor, someone who already has a great resume. Trace a fucking threat. I, I, this is the time. Like, this seven is, time. is when you go for the big guns. Yeah. Erica and Sam, I've worked with a lot, and I will have to do a decent amount of damage control if that's the way I end up voting. Final tribal, whatever final. I tribal. literally have no fucking idea. Carl is also a big threat. He has actually won more individual immunity challenges than anybody. Getting to the point in the game where winning that individual immunity challenge is literally the difference between staying and going. And so I don't want to be at the bad end of Carl staying while I have to go. They've talked a lot about, since the game started, about like our original tribe alliance and right, right, right. stuff we had the first night. And at this point, Carl or John would be tough people to sit in. Yeah. Final tribal. I'm bringing the jury, Kate, Andrew, and Dan. Welcome back to Tribal Council Final Seven. We are close to the end. But being this close to the end, JJ winning an evening must feel huge. So are you, are you already thinking your next? three steps to try to get to that final battle count. Yeah, it's really hard not to at this point because time just, it feels like it's just moving like quicker than ever right now. You know, as soon as we're done with this and we, you know, you just, you know that we're going to be doing this again very soon. And, and, and so you, if you're not thinking ahead, then you're not playing it right. Is that what, how everyone's feeling? It's not so much this vote, it's setting that up for the next three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, for but, sure. but also I'm real concerned about this vote. Is there a chance that looking too far ahead can get you in the moment? 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to think so. But not JJ right now. Yeah, not JJ. <laughs> yeah, not JJ right so John, how do you go about combat, like finding that perfect balance between looking ahead and staying? Well, ahead? I mean, this vote has to obviously be the priority. You need to look ahead. Um, it doesn't matter what's ahead if you're not here so you know once you kind of get something in place you know you kind of like kind of look at probabilities you know you never know what's going to happen down the line and you try and i mean there's a lot of things going around and you got to think of the one that you think is going to be the highest chance to get to the final three seven is a pretty pivotal number it's a odd number it's easy to flip one person so was there a lot of that feeling going on at camp trying to get a four and then how do you go about figuring out who's that fourth or who's your three who's your group Trey how do you I feel like the natural four um my goal when I knew that I was shut out at the bottom was to get to a seven um where people could use me and now people kind of have to use me um if they're not it takes some kind of like delusional harmoniousness that uh, we're all gonna vote together as like a six, like what is that, that's insanity. <laughs> so I feel like I've had mobility finally for the first time in like a couple of moves. Um, and I think that people have recognized that. Sam, you're pretty quiet. Um, how have you been dealing with all the full swap numbers game going back at camp? Um, definitely been trying to figure out what the best moves are, um, definitely ran through a couple of different options. I think there's also a lot of vari variables in play that you have to consider, but can't anticipate exactly what's happening, especially I think with the silent auction. Don't know who has it, don't even know what it is. Mm -hmm. So even what that one thing alone is can affect how you want to vote and how you want to try and get other people to vote. Um, so mostly just try and think about that and write through uh, some equations as one last thing for me to figure out, Sam, is I won the silent auction. You did? Oh. And I Wonderful. have that advantage in my pocket. Knew it. Nice. Knew it. <laughs> we, 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 we yeah. knew it. Yeah, we figured. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going home. Okay. Well, with that, big bombshell, does anyone have anything else you want to say before we 
Jet too. I guess I'll just be redundant and repetitive and remind people, just like I reminded people last night, Carl might have something in his pocket, but he hasn't played anything yet. Right. No <laughs> use to me if I'm not here at the next tribal. True. <clears throat> All right, so with that, it's time to vote. Sam, you're up first before we vote. Oh, Ooh. oh shit. I'd like to use a steal vote. <laughs> I feel like by flipping instead of going to rocks, I just proved that being in the game and winning it is more important than anything else. So money doesn't matter. It's all about the title. Great. This is a steal a vote advantage. This gives Carl the power to steal anybody's vote and cast two votes however, however he feels, shutting someone out from this vote. So Carl, whose vote will you be stealing? Trey, I'm sorry, but you can't vote for yourself. So I'm going to steal Trey's vote. All right. Trey, sorry, you will not be voting this round. Carl, you will be voting twice. So, with that, Sam, now it's time to vote. Both of them for Trey. I hope we still have the numbers even with your additional vote, um, but we'll find out. white whale you guys have been hunting for the past couple rounds <laughs> but now one of you is going to be the one getting hunted so grab your torches it's actually there. stay tuned for scenes from our next episode i'm very disappointed with myself i should have played that idol differently it would have been so much different should have won one of the last two challenges. I've just kind of been, I feel like I was doing pretty well and then I've just been like whiffing for a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, you know, obviously they were all kind of trying to get me, but I had like a lot of open doors. I had a lot of green lights and I wasn't able to capitalize on them a bummer. I think it's on me. I don't know. I don't know how much further I really would have gotten, but I think that I had the capacity to win out if I got far enough. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Cool. Next time on Survivor. With only three votes left, everyone is planning for the final three. The only thing standing in the camper's way is the hardest challenge yet.